How's it going everyone? It's October 7th, 2024, Northwest Washington Zone 8. This is an Indian free peach. It's very similar to Black Boy in that it has red flesh. But this one is um, considered to be a white flesh peach with red coloring around the outside. Black Boy is more red throughout. This one is white flesh with red around the exterior edges. But it's dark color on the outside, just like the Black Boy. This one's larger. Ripens pretty close to the same time as Black Boy, maybe even later. The flavor of Indian Free is definitely superior to Black Boy. It's uh, sweeter, juicier, and has no bitterness like Black Boy does. Black Boy, however, is really good when it's canned. The bitterness goes away. But this peach is larger. Quite a bit larger than Black Boy. Black Boy tends to be smaller. And a similar problem with split pits, just like all peaches in our climate. So definitely a really good tasting peach. If you notice the color, really nice color. And it's juicy. And being so late, October 7th, it was soft on the tree actually. I almost missed it because one of one fruit fell off the tree. And I think I had a total of four fruits on the tree and I was only able to pick two of them. One disappeared, one fell, and good thing I caught these just in time. Late peaches in Northwest Washington. The cool thing about this peach is it's also peach leaf curl resistant. It does need a pollinator though because it will not pollinate itself like Black Boy. Yeah, this is a really good peach. Wish I had more. We had a bad fruit set this year because the spring was horrible. But if the fruit set was good, we'd have a lot more late peaches like this. So you want to stretch out your harvest on peaches. You'll have your summer peaches, your late summer peaches, and then your fall peaches coming in in October in the Pacific Northwest. So I think this is definitely a, a good way to upgrade your orchard. You can graft it or plant it in, extend your peach season, because if you have, you know, a bunch of trees that are all the same variety you can't eat all the peaches when they all ripen at the same time better to stretch the harvest out mm. oh yeah top quality peach what else can i say it is pretty fuzzy i don't care about the fuzz i just eat it you can probably can these as well Pretty fuzzy, like a dark reddish gray color on the skin, similar to Black Boy, but the inside is just more white flesh. No bitterness, uh, good flavor, very aromatic, sweet. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't have much acidity at all. Mostly sweet. I guess it does have a, a little bit of acidity to balance it out. It's not like a, a full on nectar type of peach. Because de there definitely is some, a little bit of a punch to it. Like a little bit of, of acidity to balance it out. But for the most part, it's just a very flavorful peach. And this was actually um, a taste test winner for, for some time at Dave Wilson Nursery in California. I can see why it has a, a really 
complex flavor. And anybody who just had a lot of boring peaches would definitely like to have something that's different than all other peaches. And this is definitely unique. The flavor is unique and very tasty. You don't find this flavor in many other peaches. I don't know, it's hard to describe it, but it's definitely unique. It sort of has like a, like a hint of raspberries in the flavor or something like that. It's very light, but it definitely has a little bit of a, a raspberry type flavor in the aftertaste. Yeah, I could eat this all day. That's really good. I guess everybody should plant this. A tremendous peach, guys. Tremendous. Believe me. Fabulous peach. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos. That motivates me to keep making videos for you guys. And I'll see you next time.